Hey everyone, I'm the Lego Detective, and today I'm going to be reviewing the new Lego Fantastic Beasts number 2, The Crimes of Grindelwald, set number 75951, Grindelwald's Escape Set, with 132 pieces, and it retails for $20 in the US. And I did find this early, as of the recording of this video, I found it yesterday, the same day when I found a few of the other uh, collectible minifigure series for Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts. Check out that video, I will definitely link it in the description of this video. And yeah, I was really excited to not only find those, but also actually both of the new Fantastic Beasts sets. There is this one, which is based off of the second movie, which has not released yet, it's going to be released in December, or November I believe. And then there's one which is Newt's uh, Magical Suitcase, and I didn't get that one, but that one is based off the first movie. So, yeah, this set is really, really cool, despite its uh, smaller $20 price tag. Let's start out with our amazing minifigs. Here's the namesake of the second movie, Gellert Grindelwald. I really like the printing going on on his torso and also on his face. He's got the white hair and the uh, dark tan wand, which I believe is supposed to represent the Elder Wand. And I... If I move him forward a bit, you can see the printing on the back. Nice, just like that. Now, he does have one of these uh, power blast pieces. I believe that that's supposed to represent kind of a shot or a bolt that he would shoot out from his wand. So you can kind of pose him and then just shoot that off. And I don't even know where that went. I really hope I didn't lose that. But uh, yeah, there he is. Uh, here he is with the version from the collectible minifig series. Obviously, this is the Principal Graves version, but... Really, the main difference is that he has a mustache in this version. Uh, and Grindelwald does have a second face, if I turn it around. He has a bit of a grimace-looking expression right there, almost like a smile. And overall, I think that this is a great minifigure, especially since it's in a cheap set. The next figure is Serafina Picuri. Uh, correct me if I'm not pronouncing that correctly. I actually haven't watched the first Fantastic Beasts movie my dad actually just took it out of the library. It's, uh, the DVD is sitting on my bed right now, and we're going to watch it maybe uh, tomorrow or in a few days. But I believe that she is one of the heads of Makusa, correct me if I'm wrong. And I do quite like the printing on her. It is simple, but it is nice. I like the printed hair on the face, and the reuse of the sailor cap in sand blue is quite nice. This is also my first time with one of these new dress pieces which is not only a bit more sturdy, since it actually connects to a minifig torso the way that normal minifig's legs do, but also it's a bit shorter. So, uh, previously, uh, when there was a minifig with a dress, you would just use like a slope piece to kind of create that effect, but since the slopes and the minifig legs are slightly differently sized, the minifigs with the dresses would always be a bit taller. So, yeah, this piece has been out for, I think, about a year, maybe a little less, but I do definitely appreciate it. She also has a power blast piece like Grindelwald and a purple wand, which I do quite like. And these wands come on sprues, so you do get an extra of the purple and also the dark tan one uh, on Grindelwald. Overall, I think that it's a great minifig. But you know what else is great about this set? This exclusive Thestral, or at least it's exclusive as of the time of the release of this set. Let me just remove that. As you can tell after ripping them off, it's just attached by some lightsaber rods onto the actual carriage. And let's just take a closer look at that Thestral, because I think that it's done really, really well. When you remove this whole section of here, you can see that we do have a new mold. Uh, now, in 2007, when the Thestrals were first released, the pieces used for them were just those uh, skeletal looking horse pieces, which they would also use for the castle line. But it still kind of retains its uh, skeletal look with the uh, blank white eyes and the little ridges on it and even under it and the skeletal look of the feet. Uh, actually, the ridges on this tail kind of remind me of Samukai because Samukai from Ninjago actually had a spine that was kind of, oh, whoops, it was kind of textured in that same way. It is a bit open right there, but that allows you to attach this entire build, which uses these new uh, molded wing pieces. I'm not sure if this is dual molding or printing. I think that it's just dual molding, but uh, right here at the end, it's a bit more rubbery uh, in the clear parts right there, but then it gets a bit harder towards the central uh, black part. We have some spikes in the middle, and I just think that this is an amazing 
little figure to have because the older Thestrals are definitely a bit outdated and, you know, it's Fantastic Beasts, so it really fits with the theme. And with the Thestral back on the carriage, let's take a better look at it. Firstly, this whole entire front section can turn. It's just on one of those uh, elongated axle pins there, so you can remove it. We do have these nice little uh, bars up in the front. And these pieces right there are actually, if I can remove it, uh, there, there you can see it. It's the uh, kind of the leaf piece or the grass looking plant piece that has been remolded in uh, black and it's kind of used to connect those bars together and the little spike on it which would normally represent uh, kind of another little branch of it coming off that is just used for ornamental effect and I really like how that looks. Uh, there are a lot of cool pieces used in this set. Another example of that is the train doors that are actually used without windows on this carriage to give you access to the interior. And I, I overall really, really like it. Also, another creative thing is the way that they doubled up these uh, wheel axle pieces and attached with a Technic piece to provide a lot of stability for the wheels in the back. So I, I did not see that coming. And yeah, it was just overall a very, very fun build. We have some lanterns on the top. And you can remove the roof, it's just attached with some jumpers to get a good look on the inside. Let's just open up the doors to get a bit more light in there. You can see we have a little seat, and you can fit one minifig sitting on the kind of couch section and another one standing in the middle. So that's definitely uh, appreciated. And in the back section, if you, you can fit one minifig sitting, or if you have the minifig you're standing up, you could actually probably fit uh, two mini figs standing. I'll just bring in, I'll just bring in the Percival Graves figure just to show that for reference. But yeah, overall, I'm definitely very, very impressed with the build. Let's take a quick look at the box. I'm just freehanding right now. Lego Fantastic Beasts. We have the logo for Fantastic Beasts with Newt, Tina, and the Niffler right there. A cool shot of the set, the mini figs, 132 pieces. Grindelwald Escape. You've already seen that uh, on the bottom. Whoops. We have the little price tag for $20. On the back, it shows kind of a battle going on, advertising the power blasts and the Thestral and how you can remove the roof of it. On the top, we just have an uh, actual size shot of Grindelwald and a picture of Serafina with the Thestral. Uh, on the side, another shot of the box. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the box of the set. Here are the instructions for the set, same art on the cover as in the box. And when we go to the back, we have an advertisement for some of the Harry Potter sets and how you can combine them all together to make a uh, cool looking Hogwarts. I still need the Whomping Willow. An advertisement for the two Fantastic Beast sets. That's the Newt suitcase, which I have not gotten yet. The Some of the Brickheads and all of the Wizarding World minifigures that come in the set. So we have the Great Hall, Aragog's Lair, uh, Whomping Willow, Newt Suitcase, this set, and I don't see any of the minifig from the Hogwarts Express, that's funny. Uh, then we have an ad for Lego Life, and obviously the little list of parts at the very back of the instructions. So, that's my review for the Lego Fantastic Beasts Grindelwald Escape set. I hope that you enjoyed this review, and I definitely would recommend this set for $20. You get a really, really nice build, a nice test roll, which has some exclusive molds, and two new exclusive figures. So I would definitely recommend it if you are a fan of Fantastic Beasts. And yeah, please comment, like, and subscribe. And again, I'll link down in the description my video of the blind bags. So be sure to check that video out. But that's it for this video today. And that's all, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.